there. This is your girl Simranjit Kormaan here and I am back with another vlog and this one's an exciting one. I'm heading back to the office for the first time. I hadn't been to the office since my vacation scheme at the firm two years ago and I hate to be one of those girls but yes I am one of those girls who does their makeup on the train. Anyway, let me show you the rest of my journey into the office. Nearly went the wrong way, walked into another office, lols. So here's a clip of my office. My office has two floors. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty empty. That was expected. I came into work on a Friday. A massive advantage is I have my own office. It's not every day you can feel like Jessica Pearson. I was quite chuffed about it, as you can see. Not every day you get your own office, is it? This is mad. As I'm a nice little early bird, a little keen bean, I got into the office around 8 15 8 30 around about that time and usually i start my work around nine o'clock the reason why i was early today was i wanted to kind of make some time for commuting which i hadn't done in a while so i spent my time as i was early unpacking my bags getting used to the it making sure i was all set up and then because i had some time i thought i'd pay one of my friends who's also a really cool youtuber a little visit She's the one who inspired me actually to make my back to office vlog. She's super cool and I'll tag her channel below. Rumour has it, my friend Ranveer is in the office today as well. She doesn't work with me. Um, she works at another firm. So just going to go see her for a bit before I start work. Also, we haven't talked about my outfit. So Primark, 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 Nike, Air Forces. That's my outfit for today. <laughs> I'm here with my girl. Ah, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm shy. I can't. I can't record. Okay, bye. Forgive me for how short that previous clip was with Ranveer. I am still really shy about filming in public. But on another note, look how cute these welcome packs are that the firm got for every person who is coming back to the office. So now there's enough mucking about. It's time to actually start working. On Fridays, I usually have training sessions from. 9 30 onwards so i thought i'd spend the first half an hour this morning with creating my to-do list so i know what i need to do for the rest of the day i also quickly popped over to the kitchen and on the way i had such a nice conversation with a partner in another team who i'd never met before i remember us vaguely talking about how extortionate five guys is because they charge for the burger and the chips separately so if you ever wondered what the conversations between a trainee and a partner are like when they meet for the first time, this is a pretty good flavour. Ha! <laughs> flavour. Five guys, do you get it? I'm so cool. It's now time for my training session. So as you may know or may not know, I am in the construction disputes team. Construction is a very niche area of law very quite specialist there's a lot of technical terms a lot of new things that you come across that you've not really learned before on courses like the lpc so because of that and i think this is such a cool thing that my firm does we have training sessions every two weeks led by members of our team and they tell us about something new in the construction world today's lesson was all about letters of intent and why parties may enter into a letter of intent what is a letter of intent? What are the advantages of using it? What are the disadvantages? So I really do learn a lot from these training sessions. And also I've been working on a matter which also involves the use of a letter of intent. So it definitely had that practical application as well, which I really liked. After training, I move on to my first task of the day. And in all honesty, this task will probably take up most of my day. It was to draft a JCT contract for a new client. We'd had new instructions come in. And the reason why it was going to take me so long is because it was the first time I'd done it. Now, albeit I am in the construction disputes team, 
there is the possibility of me getting involved in non-contentious work and this is great it means that I get to experience both the transactional side of law and the disputes slash litigation side of the law as well so it's a best of both worlds seats which I really like now this is the first time I was given the chance to draft a JCT hence why I really wanted to do the work well. I wanted to create a good first impression. It was my first real taster of the bread and butter of what construction is all about. It all starts from some form of contract and it was exciting to be part of a matter from day one. As a trainee, it's so important to be involved in tasks from the onset. Albeit sometimes in your seat that's not possible, you may get dipped into matters here and there, you may be dropped into a matter halfway through for example, but it is really beneficial for me personally when I've been working on a matter straight from the start. Now in terms of drafting this JCT contract, so for those of you who do not know, a JCT is a form of building contract. There are many different forms of building contract available out there. A more modern recent one is in NEC. Now the client had also provided us with all this information, so in terms of who the parties were, the addresses, etc., what they wanted, did they want particular clauses or not. So it was essentially my role to go through that communication that the client had given us get out a template building contract jct contract that we had and then populate it with the information that the client had given us then to provide a tailored contract to send off to the client so this task if we were to talk about key skills it really draws upon attention to detail it draws upon tailoring your contract to the client it draws upon knowledge of construction law and certain clauses for example there are professional indemnity insurance clauses there's clauses about warranties about guarantees so having a basic knowledge about this was really helpful as well in order to understand what every single section of the contract was talking about now just before lunch i also had to do an induction because it was my first time in the london office I had to gain information, for example, on where all the fire exits were, where the print room was, where f the facilities team were. So this was all really useful information for someone just coming into their office for the first time. Look how hench this umbrella is. Wait, where am I going? Uh, it's hench. Like, look, at, compare for size. It's like half my size. Anyway, I'm heading to a manicure because... I want to get a manicure, it's my birthday soon, so my nails need some updating, but that's what I'm doing for lunch. Yeah, come with me. Also, you may be wondering why I'm wearing Air Forces and um, not smart shoes. Well, it's dressed down usually on Fridays, so we can. I'm pretty sure like you're allowed to wear trainers and stuff. So I thought I'd go kind of semi-professional top half and then trainers bottom half. So that's the reason behind my outfit today. So now lunch is over and I'm back at my desk. I continue with finishing off drafting this JCT contract. It was to be due for Monday, but you know, I want to exceed expectations, so I tried to get it done by the end of the day, which I did. And during this task as well, sometimes as a trainee, you get a few ad hoc tasks thrown your way during the day as well. So in between finishing off this contract, I was also emailing colleagues, updating them on certain matters or questions that they've asked and they require replies urgently. I was diarising future meetings or appointments or setting them up via Teams at a future date and also having to do tasks for example like sending instructions to council or sending documents off. So as a trainee definitely do be prepared for that element of switching in between tasks 
And, you know, albeit I had my main big task for the day of drafting that JCT contract, I had to do loads of little mini tasks in between. And flicking from one task to the other does require quite a bit of concentration sometimes. But I knew, for example, that I had quite a few calls scheduled for the end of the day. So to get all of these ad hoc tasks as well as these main tasks done before then would have held me in great stead to finish on time on a Friday. After sitting at my desk for a good few hours, I like to stretch my legs. And one of the ways I do that is go straight to the kitchen and get myself a glass of water. For those of you who work in the office, you know those kitchen trips used to bang, especially when your work BFFs were there as well. And that's one thing that I'm really looking forward to when going back into the office, is having those conversations in the kitchen, those DMCs. Talking about BFFs though, I had a call scheduled up next with my work BFFs. We have calls scheduled every fortnight and we just catch up on how we're doing. We talk about all kinds of stuff and it's just really nice having them there as a form of support system there are two other trainees as well if they're watching this hello you know who you are and yeah they're absolute stars having these calls with them is something that i really do greatly look forward to after my wonderful call with my bffs i have about half an hour to 45 minutes until my next call which is with my supervisor i decide to spend this short time that i have updating my training record in respect of my training record so what i tend to do with this is i should really update it more than i do and recently it's dawned on me that i haven't paid enough attention to it for those of you who don't know a training record is somewhere which basically documents every single thing that you've done to ensure that you have matched the requirements with the sra to have done the seat properly if that makes sense so essentially it involves a, a somewhat checklist where I have to tick off and provide evidence that I've completed tasks like instructing counsel or drafting witness statements or drafting a JCT. So that's why it's so good to keep updated with your training record because you do tend to forget what you've done if you've left it for months on, on end and you've not updated it at all. So. That's what I spent my time doing before my call with my supervisor. Now you are usually assigned a supervisor and a buddy throughout your training contract. My supervisor is a member of my team. She's super lovely, honestly. If I have any concerns or if I wanna talk about anything or gain any advice on anything, she's my kind of go-to person. And I have a call scheduled with her every week on a Friday. We specifically picked that day so we can use it to reflect on the week and set new goals for the week ahead. She's really dropped some words of wisdom that have helped me so much so far in my training contract.